few weeks since I've been using the new Sony ZV-1 and I've been testing it and today I decided to make a full review and I've been comparing this uh, camera which I'm using right now to record this uh, video a lot to my favorite uh, Sony RX100 5 Mark V Mark V 4 Mark V yes uh, I bought this camera used around two years ago and I fell in love with this I used to use my Sony a7 Mark II for the longest time then I bought the Sony um, It's A7 Mark III. Now I know. Now I know. Because I literally been using this camera for the last few weeks and I haven't even touched the, you know, the other camera that I forgot <laughs> the, the model of it. That's kind of ridiculous. Anyhow, um, so when I bought this camera, I started using it a lot and I loved how small it was, how light it was. I could take it with me anywhere and it recorded 4k footage and it worked really well the quality was great um so it became my favorite camera and uh i stopped using my you know sony full frame camera because this was just so much easier it you know recording with this camera felt less intimidating i guess it was just like you know grab and go it didn't feel like you know i had to prepare too much uh, you know, so that was great. Uh, for some reason, recording any footage on my big full-frame camera, it just, it's a little stressful. I don't know. It didn't have that amazing stabilization, which you can see right now. I'm literally holding this camera, shaking it a lot uh, with my, you know, <laughs> shaky hands. And I hope you can see that footage is pretty great. Um, so that was the thing which I was missing in my uh, RX100. The other thing was that I could only record 4K footage up to like five minutes, then this camera would overheat and it would turn off. And I would be talking to that camera for next 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and I would not even know that it's not recording. And the reason why I never knew if that camera was recording, it was because uh, the screen was not, you know, on the side of the camera, but it was uh, on the top of it, which I actually prefer. Uh, but unfortunately, you you would not be able to see the bottom of the screen where it says that it's recording. So it would stop recording. It wouldn't make a noise, and I would not know that it stopped recording. So that happened to me a lot, and it was very frustrating because I would waste a lot of time, you know, um, and. It just, it was great, but I felt like I needed an upgrade. And uh, the new Sony RX100 Mark VI um, was kind of an upgrade, but unfortunately, I I didn't like that it, um, it didn't have the F-step at 1.8, which I love. Like, you can see the, the bulk up behind me. Like, I mean, maybe not in this set up here, but usually, like, it looks amazing. And I love that. Uh, that new upgrade, that new model didn't have that. I, I honestly didn't like the changes they made to that camera. So I hold on to my, you know, Mark V. And when ZV-1 came out, it was exactly what I wanted. Uh, it was at good price point because it cost around mm, $800 um, with tax. And it has everything I want, like nicer colors, amazing stabilization. Um, better flip-up screen, uh, it records 4K footage up to 30 minutes, which is spectacular. Um, it's great, honestly, it's great. It has everything what I was missing in my other camera. It's a little bigger, slightly bigger than my RX100 Mark V, um, but honestly, <sighs> it's a nice camera. And I love that it has the red light uh, on the front so I can see that it's still recording. It's
so I have exactly the same settings set uh, on both cameras um, and I'm testing out the footage we'll see which one looks better obviously I can have the command and exact uh, the camera lens in the exact same spot so the angles are a little different but the settings are the same and uh, honestly it looks like the footage looks better on the preview on my ZV-1 um, but <laughs> we'll see because when I just checked uh, the footage from both cameras it looked way better on the from the RX100 which was a surprise um, so I changed settings a little bit on both cameras uh, and they are still matching but uh, I'm gonna see um, what looks better now it's pretty funny and uh, steady shot is set to standard on both cameras because I couldn't set it to active on my RX100 um, with 4k so that's unfortunately but we'll see um, I'm just moving my camera so you can see How's the stabilization? Okay, so you can see shadows, what it looks like. Now, surprisingly, uh, currently it looks better on the Honestly, the Sony uh, ZV-1 is bigger than my uh, Sony uh, RX100, which I didn't expect. I thought it would be a little smaller. Uh, it's a little lighter, but it's bigger. Um, that's okay. I do prefer the uh, screen on my RX100. I don't really like that I have to look to the right to check if I'm in focus. Uh, I feel like it's a little more distracting. Like if I'm looking here on my RX100, I can just look up and it looks pretty natural. While if I'm recording with my ZV-1, I wanna check, if I'm in the focus, I have to look to the right and I feel like it's more distracting for the viewer, but let me know what you think. Um, first impressions? Hmm. I don't know. Um, let's see if I'm gonna move around like how shaky this is. I feel like, you know, Stabilization should be better on the newer camera, obviously. The quality should be better. I feel like colors are way better on the new Sony ZV-1. So that's definitely, you know, an advantage. Um, yeah, the screen is bigger, too, on the new camera. Uh, so, yeah, these are my first impressions. I'll try to color correct, too, so it's gonna hopefully look 
a little better. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to test this camera out. Um, it costs around $800, it's not the cheapest. I bought my uh, Sony RX100 for around the same price, uh, but I bought it used. Um, and, you know, it's been a few years. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited that I'm gonna be able to record um, videos in 4K that are longer than five minutes because with my old uh, RX100, um, the videos would be basically cut after five minutes the camera would not even tell me that it's not recording anymore, so I would be talking to the camera for, you know, 15-20 minutes and I'll be wasting time. Oh, and it's already over overheating. It hasn't been even five minutes, but yep. Okay, so I'm testing this again uh, because the smoothing um, feature I was set on medium and it looks terrible, it's just like my whole face is blurred, uh, so I decided to just record it again. Now the smoothing setting is set to low. Uh, I may just turn it off, honestly, like, I don't know if it's, like, I honestly feel like it doesn't work the best and um, they probably need to do some updates uh, because it just... It, whatever it's whatever honestly um i think it looks better you know without the uh smoothing setting but let me know what you think this is um on low and now i turn off the smoothing setting so this is what it looks like without uh shot and steady is on so stabilization is on uh, i'm gonna turn it off now and this is what it looks like without stabilization on um and I'm currently just hand-holding the camera. No gimbal, no tripod, it's just my... Never had a point and shoot like this uh, Sony RX100, you're gonna be amazed. But if you had it, it's gonna be a small upgrade because this camera already has, you know, a lot. Like it's a great camera, it's a great small camera. Um, so this is an upgrade. This has all the features which I needed in my RX100. Uh, so it's great. I kind of feel bad, you know. Um, upgrading because now I will have to sell my old RX100 um, but it is an amazing camera and I love that it's cheaper um, and it works amazing the video quality is is great uh, and it has everything I wanted so all the issues which I was talking about which I you know had with my RX100 like overheating um, not the best stabilization, um, average audio, you know, it was upgraded in the ZV-1. So if you're looking, you know, for like all-in-one point-and-shoot vlogging camera, this is it. Um, you know, I still have my A7 Mark III and I'm gonna keep it, 
uh, but I find myself just using this camera a lot more often and if I would have to choose one camera which I would you know just keep honestly I probably would choose the V1 over a7 mark 3 if I would have to choose one camera that I would like have with me you know all the time like it's smaller it's easier to use it's less intimidating it it records 4k footage it has amazing stabilization uh, it has amazing flip up screen great audio for such a small camera of course um, and of course you can also use uh, external microphone which is great uh, it's pretty great so uh, this is a very positive review I thought I would like I thought it would be a negative review honestly when I started using this I was kind of disappointed I was like well this is it you know this is great like but it's not a huge upgrade and like oh maybe I'm gonna you know return this camera and I'm gonna keep my RX100 but honestly um no I'm gonna keep ZV1 it's it's great I love that I can record uh longer videos now I don't have to worry that I'm gonna waste my time you know not knowing if I'm recording any footage or not uh it's it's great um so this is my positive review of the Sony uh, ZV100. Obviously, it's not sponsored. I bought this camera uh, with my own money and I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave them down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.